you've created this global community, people all over the world. What do you find people's, what are they most interested in? Is it the health portion of what they're eating? Is it how do I lose weight? Your community has grown for a reason. What do you find that we all have in common? We all want to live healthier and happier. At the end of the day, people want to be able to look in the mirror and like the person that they see. If they want to feel better, they want to be able to walk around the block or go and do um, a triathlon. And, and they want to be able to live their life with freedom. And they want to be able to live their life with good flavor. And so um, at the end of the day, you know, diabetes doesn't care about what color you are. Heart disease, you know, doesn't care about that. So that's why the fitness community is really special because it is truly a collective um, group of people from all parts of the world, from different backgrounds, from different religions. Um, but what we have that really like unites us all is our own individual resolve to live healthier and happier. You know, I love your story so much because you're really doing something that you clearly enjoy. It's just clearly a part of you, but you've been able to turn it into a business. Um, mm. Let's talk about your book for a second. Fitman Cook, you have 100 recipes. Where did these, like, you have created tons and tons of recipes over the years. How did you narrow it down to these 100 recipes? Yeah, this one was really hard. This book took me a minute because I wrote it entirely in myself. I just, it was based off of going back and forth with followers about things that they like. Um, so with this, with this book, I wanted to really speak to the essence and the core of, of I think, like my heritage, which is a milk prep and what really saved me. And that was being prepared. Like, there's nothing like coming home from a hard day of work or coming in from a hard workout or having a bad moment in life and having healthier choices at your fingertips. And it was the unpreparedness that actually was really challenging for me. It, that, that's what actually set me back. So with this book, I really wanted to make sure that people had a, had like a ton of options. And so instead of doing complete meals, I wanted to split it up. So yes, well, you have chapters with the different types of proteins, mm -hmm. a chapter with sides, chapter with salads and soups, so that people can learn how to mix and match their diet the way that they see fit. They can really embrace the freedom that they have in making healthier choices, rather than me just tell you, you got to eat this particular meal. No, I want you to make a healthy choice and put it together the way that you um, you would because at the end of the day, it's your diet. Um, and you've got to build a diet that you're actually going to eat. And I know that sounds really funny, but oftentimes we don't. Oftentimes we eat what people tell us. And if we can just find a way to, to like take your regular diet right now, if you can find a way to transform it to be calorie conscious, then you eat more of it. Mm -hmm. But if someone here is telling you no, you got to eat this kale and quinoa mix. You know, you, you may do it, but you're going to get tired of it because you're, that doesn't really speak to you. And this is especially true when we're trying to connect with people cross-culturally. So um, you want to have good flavor, but you just want to do it in a way that's going to resonate with people. And I think that book does it. That's what I love about um, your book and, and your entire movement. I think that... It, one of the reasons it's so difficult to stick to these diets is because you're eating the same thing almost every single day and it's just not sustainable. Right. And you just provide so many options. Like that that's really what it comes down to. I think people can stick to a healthy lifestyle and obviously you're living proof of it if they have variety. Yeah. And you should treat yourself with that variety. There's no reason why you have to eat the same thing every single day. And I know that um, I was joking around with someone that like I, people get the wide eyes when they see all the meal prep photos on like Instagram where it's a whole table's worth of food. And yeah, I'm prepped for the entire month. And I tell people like, guaranteed that that food was thrown out after the shoot because there's no way <laughs> there's like maybe 5% of people who actually stick through. And those are the people who are actually the real time like competitors and bodybuilders because it's worth something for them. They have to stay really strict with their diet. But the average Joe and Jane, you know, they're not going to be doing that. So it, it, even though it may cost you a little bit of time each week to sit around and cook some meals, you can do that. 
I've been doing my lives here during the quarantine and I've been putting up a timer to show people. I'm like, I'm going to set my timer for 25 minutes and I'll make a recipe and I say, all right, that took less than 25 minutes to put together and this is going to feed me for three to four days. You don't have one five minutes to do that for yourself. And just think about the 25 minutes you popped in the kitchen and pop out. Boom, and you're done. And it's food that you want to eat and it's fresh. So in three other days, you're going to make something else. And you just keep it moving. You know, I think that's great because, again, you know, for somebody like me, you know, when I think of cooking, I'd rather go to the dentist. So just, just do something that is totally like, yeah, yeah I'd rather do anything else but be in right. the kitchen. But it, the, the incentive of, hey, you can prepare a few meals that'll last you a few days. Yeah. In less than 25 minutes, now you're talking because it takes the the anxiety out of it for me. Because even as I'm listening to you, I'm like, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, and it's really, it's really, really easy. You have no excuse to do that. And you know, especially right now, you're in New York City. I know that it's hard to get around and stuff. It's not the best time to be out and about in the city because of what's going on. Like. This is the type of stuff that actually is going to save your life and save your diet. And now's the right time to go ahead and learn these skills, skill sets because the reality is no matter the advances that, you, you know, that we have right now, we're probably going to be in this holding pattern for a minute. So it's best to get the diet squared away, get your momentum going, get your little workout routine going, and just get settled into the fact that like, you can make healthier choices right now where you are. You just have to care. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.